Namaste, welcome to Brihad Muradang. My name is Nivedita. We are going to talk about the next two months of the Hindu lunar calendar today. The month of Vaishak is considered closest to the heart of Sri Mahavishnu. Three prominent avatars of Bhagavan Vishnu, Varah, Narasimha and Kurma happened during this month across time. According to Sri Narada Muni and the Skanda Purana, Vaishak is the most appropriate to perform dharmic sadhana or actions such as dana, taking an early morning bath while offering argya to Surya Bhagavan, chanting Sri Vishnu Sahasranam Stotra and Stotras of Sri Lakshmi Narasimha and worshipping Sri Mahavishnu with Krishna Tulasi and Chandan. Jaladan or offering water to guests, passers-by and travellers is said to bestow great merit. During the auspicious festival of Akshaya Tritiya, Godan, Annadan, Vastradan and Hiranyadan, Upavas and Puja of Mahavishnu as Sri Lakshmi Narasimha and Sri Lakshmi Narayan are essential. Other important festivals of Vaishak Mass include Ganga Saptami, Sri Adi Shankaracharya Jayanti, Sri Narasimha Jayanti, and Sri Parashuram Jayanti. Jeshtamas is the third month of the Hindu lunar calendar and falls between the Gregorian months of May and June. Summer is at its peak, and Surya Bhagavan is in his most exalted position in Vrishabh Rashi. Sri Mahavishnu reigns as Trivikrama, that is, in his avatar as Sri Vaman, the one who rules over the three lokas of Gu, Gua, and Sua. Ganga Tashara is celebrated on Jeshta Shukla Tashuni. On this day, Ma Ganga, the embodiment of knowledge and compassion, descended upon earth from the Kailash owing to the immense tapas of Bhagiratha. A dip in the Ganga on this day cleanses the Dasha Mahapapas or the ten great sins that haunt human beings. Vatapurnama or Vata Savitri Vrata takes after the legend of Savitri, the resilient wife who won over her husband Satyavan's life from Yamaraj himself. On this day, the devout wife observes a fast and prays to Bhagavan for her husband's well-being while tying a thread around the Vatavriksha or the banyan tree which is inhabited by a host of devatas including Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwara who bless the couple with well-being and prosperity. Nirjala Ekadashi, which is amongst the most auspicious of all Ekadashis, falls in this month. It is said that fasting on this day, if possible without water, will bestow the merit of fasting on all 24 Ekadashis. Stay tuned for the next episode.